This time on How Do Hackers Do Things, we're going into part two of how hackers can steal and clone your badges, this time with a homebrew device. In this example, I'm going to show a homebrew device that uses a standard badge reader and an RFID tool that has onboard Wi-Fi that allows me to steal, store, and retrieve at a later date badge reads and button punches. In this case, we're going to use an Indala card. I'm going to scan it three times, and then I'm going to put in my pin. And over on the left, you can see an interface that's built into this device that allows me to, at distance, go and review and potentially download all the badge reads. How do you prevent these type of attacks? Well, like the Proxmark 3, it requires an attacker to get very close to the victim to steal badges. And given the configuration that this is set up in, that's going to be highly unlikely. More likely than not, an attacker is going to put this ESP device in line with the badge reader in a way that's hidden and not obvious, and then retrieve the badge reads at a later date and make copies and break in that way. For your employees, the best thing to do is teach and train them to recognize people that are not supposed to be there and then challenge them and be comfortable with saying, hey, you need to go away. We at Graybox specialize in this type of training and we'll be happy to discuss it with you. My name is Josh Jenkins. I'm an information security consultant at Graybox and Associates.